Hey, I'm Dr. Larry Burks, owner and primary doctor here at the Upper Cervical Clinic. Thanks for checking out this quick video on upper cervical care and what it's all about. My training as a doctor I received at Life West down in the Bay Area and then had postgraduate training for upper cervical care and be able to provide that safely and efficiently to patients. Now, upper cervical care is concerned with a patient's nervous system. And as you know, the nervous system runs throughout a whole patient's body, directly or indirectly affecting every organ system um, from there. And what happens is you can have interference to that nervous system causing issues throughout the whole body. Issues such as migraines, chronic fatigue syndrome, vertigo, uh, autoimmune issues, and more. So, those nerve interference um, problems can happen right here in the upper cervical spine. So, as you know, you have atlas and axis here. Um, you also have a unique anatomy setup where you can move your head quite a bit of, of degrees of motion, but it makes it very unstable in this area. That combined with the brain stem that slightly sits right here in the foramen magnum and, and does come down slightly into this hole here. When you have a misalignment, it can cause slight brain, brain stem pressure, causing that nerve interference and then affecting the rest of the body. Now my goal as an upper cervical doctor is to detect that nerve interference and then to correct the misalignment so the, the patient can function, heal, and um, the symptoms are decreased as a result of just a higher functioning patient. So when I detect the nerve interference, we use infrared thermography here. Um, it's a scan that goes right up the back of the neck. It's digital, so we get really good objective data with the scan. And then to see the misalignment, we use digital x-rays here on site and to make sure that it's also safe for the patient as well. Those two things combined will let me know if the patient does have nerve interference and how to correct that. The correction is done by a manual, uh, very specific adjustment that has to come with postgraduate training, which I have, and then um, a post-check of another scan afterwards to make sure we clear out the nerve interference. Now, if you're checking your clients or patients and you've noticed that they have a high shoulder, maybe, or they could have a slight head tilt, maybe when you're palpating their neck and they have taut and tender fibers more on one side than the other, they may have a misalignment in the upper cervical spine and would definitely benefit from getting that checked out here at the clinic. And I'd be happy to do that for them and for you as providing an extra benefit and service to the care you're already providing. Now, if you have any more questions about upper cervical care, we can always chat, give me a phone call or email, and uh, we can go from there. So thanks for watching this quick description, and I hope to talk to you soon.